Good morning, guys. All right, in the last video, I uh, replaced the fuel tank in the Skyline and uh, hooked up a brand new AM uh, fuel pump. And uh, it runs, it starts, everything like that. Today's video is going to be on the Deech Works uh, external fuel pump relay. Which here's the kit here. It's a really nice, simple external relay for the fuel pump, and I'll show you why. You might want to go with something like that. Basically, with the AEM fuel pump, if you look at the instructions here. So, here's the box. Um, okay, so here's the part number on that. So, look at the instructions here. It says uh, supply voltage uh, will affect fuel delivery, okay, for the AEM fuel pump. And it actually says that here it wants to see in between 13.2 and 14.2 volts um, anything lower than that the pump will run at a lower pressure okay so basically the pump likes to see as much voltage as it can and with the skyline I'll go ahead and show you the voltage problem with the uh, original I guess fuel pump fuel pump relay fuel pump wiring I guess so um, so at the battery here, you know, the car's off right now, it's running at 12.3, and uh, go ahead and start it up to show you what it's running when, you know, when it's running. Alright, with it running, it's chilling at 14 right now. This is a cold startup too, so... Uh, it's idling a little bit higher, so it's at 14.02, and at the back, so if we go to the back, if we go to the back here and we measure the voltage back here at the fuel pump end up with is a little bit different okay so I know that um, my positive wire going to the pump is this white with purple stripe here so I'm just gonna back probe it here and then ground it somewhere okay and back here right now we're at 12.5 and that's with the high idle so yeah, so the yeah, so the pump again it wants to see at least 13.2 or 14.2 to run at 100%, 100% flow, 100% pressure, all that. So I'm gonna be hooking up this Deech Works external fuel pump relay. It's pretty simple, super simple. Yeah, I've actually seen on the internet and some, some forums that this this number is actually even lower with some GTRs where it's like around 11. So that's not too cool. Each works fuel pump relay. This is all you get. It doesn't come with any of the connectors, which kind of sucks, but uh, the wiring is nice. This would actually be really easy to build if you wanted to build one, but if you don't have time for that, it's, it's pretty nice. It comes with the um, fuse holder, and uh, the fuse that's in it, I think, is a, is a 40. It's actually a 25, but that's cool. Um, and it comes with, you know, some instructions on how to wire it, which is not too bad, which is good. So all I'm going to do here is pull this back here. What I'm going to be doing is mounting the relay back behind here, probably to this screw here. I'm also going to ground it there probably. And all I have to do after that is run this power cable. All the way to the battery. That's probably the hardest part is just running this red power cable to the battery. And then I'll show you how it wires up. This right here, this nylon sleeving, will make your uh, wiring installs look really, really good. And uh, some heat shrink. Go ahead and just put this on some of the wires. It just goes on like that. And really clean up wiring make it look super pro
All right, so this braiding, the ends like to, like to fray pretty easily. If you have a soldering iron with a hot tip on it, it's really easy to just cut it. And we'll see how much I need. I got this much here. And it won't fray at the ends. This really makes things look good. So the power wire that runs with the battery, um, I'm gonna end up cutting the fuse holder off and hooking it back up because it's gonna be really hard to run like this. So I'm gonna cut it off right here. All right, so here's my power wire is gonna go through the back wall back there and run it through the back seat. That's probably gonna be the hardest part of all this. Okay, so then we got we got this yellow and this blue wire, which this is gonna be the trigger which activates the relay, and this is gonna be the relay's output. So right here on the fuel pump, I know that the white with purple wire is the positive for the pump, and I kind of labeled everything while I had it all out. And uh, really what you want to do, probably, ultimately, would be to run this wire straight to this terminal. I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to wire it in right here. And the reason why I want to do it right there is because if I ever need to take this out, I want to disconnect it here. So I'm going to wire it right here. And you can see that the wire color has changed color. It goes from white and purple to black with yellow and the gauge wiring is pretty small especially on the car side it's like really really small but from here to there it's not really going to matter too much but i just want the convenience to be able to unplug it so i'm going to solder it here what we're going to do is basically cut this wire in half okay this will be, this runs all the way up there, trigger, and this is going to be the output, okay, so trigger, output, simple. go this is my favorite tape in the world if you watch my channel you know I use this a lot on all my wiring harnesses this is test tape this makes everything look super clean I think love this stuff all right there we go fuel pump relay wiring hooked up it looks nice and clean and then all I got to do now is just run that cable through the car all the way to the battery Ooh. Pretty happy with the way this came out. Looks pretty good. Happy, happy, happy. I kind of forgot to do something, so I figured this would be a good opportunity to re-explain some things. Um, I did record, you know, putting all this together and everything like that, but I'm going to re-explain it a little bit better because I'm a little bit more awake. Okay, so fuel pump here. We want to bypass the 
factory fuel pump relay and replace it with this one. So down here at the pump, I already labeled this because I already had all this out. This is the positive side of the pump. This is the negative side of the pump. This goes to a low fuel light and this goes to the level, okay? So white with purple here is positive and then blue with red right here is negative, all right? So you follow the harness through here and I've spliced into it here, okay? So that wire color has actually changed color after this connector. Okay, so we got, this is the power side of the pump, the, paw, the 12 volts, which is white with purple, and it actually turns into black with yellow. And I did it all on this side here because I want to keep this connector, so in case I have to take this back out, it's not hardwired to that. I can just unplug it. So, the way the relay, relay works, uh, basically, the uh, black with yellow, you cut it in half, and the relay will power power the pump. Okay, and then the uh, that's the yellow wire here, and it explains it here in the instructions. And then the blue wire here is connected to the other side of that because I cut it in half. And it basically, when you go turn the key on or start the car, this wire powers up pretty much the old you know fuel pump. Um, signal i guess you can say or power uh it turns the relay on so this becomes the on the switched which is here switched and this is the output okay one more thing you got to do is you actually have to disconnect the ground from the pump which is here the negative side to the computer okay which is what i didn't do this morning and it caused some issues if you don't do that you need to totally bypass uh, bypass it from the car, I guess you can say. So, I have negative here, blue with red. I sound kind of repetitive, but, you know, whatever. Blue with red, and it turns into white, okay? So this white wire here, I'm going to need to cut it, okay? Cut it, and the side that goes to the pump, I'm gonna need to ground it, okay? Give it its own ground, and the side that goes to the computer, just leave it alone, we'll tape it off, and it's good to go. Let's double check this. So the white wire, gonna cut this guy in the half. And wire the ground, new ground up to this point. Right, right here. All right, guys, there you go. There's the fuel pump relay. What do you think of it? It looks pretty good. The Tessa tape really makes things look real nice when you tape it all up nice and good and everything. But it's a good looking relay. Let's go start it up and uh, I'll show you the voltage, what we got back here now. I can make it to the gas station. The light is on. I put like 
almost two gallons in, but it's showing it's really low. So hopefully there's no problem. I'll make it to the gas station. Luckily there's one in, in the neighborhood, but let's see how it goes. I really don't want to get stuck somewhere.